Gun violence has been an issue across the nation this weekend. According to the Gun Violence Archives, there have been 224 mass shootings so far this year. Here's ABC's Morgan Norwood with the latest. An investigation now underway in Rochester Hills, Michigan, after a shooter opened fire Saturday afternoon at a splash pad park, injuring nine people. Unfortunately, in my five years as being county executive, this is now the second mass shooting. We're getting all too good at this, and, and I'm disgusted by it. The youngest victim, a four-year-old boy. His eight-year-old brother and their mom also hurt, both in critical condition. The oldest victim, a 78-year-old man who was shot in the abdomen, according to police. Under no circumstance in this country, particularly in Rochester Hills, uh, should fathers be spending Father's Day in a hospital. Police have identified the suspected gunman as 42-year-old Michael William Nash. They say he apparently died by suicide and had no connection to any of the victims. In another shooting Saturday evening, this one in Texas, Juneteenth celebrations turning deadly when gunfire erupted at a park in Round Rock. Police say an altercation broke out shortly before 11 p.m. During that altercation, someone produced a gun and began to fire. Multiple victims were hit. Unfortunately, we do have two deceased on scene. We do not have a suspect in custody. Meanwhile, early Sunday morning, authorities in Methuen, Massachusetts, say seven people were shot during a pop-up party that was organized through social media. They say an eighth person suffered serious head injuries trying to get away from the scene. While these spontaneous car club meetups, they generally do not escalate to this type of violence, our policy has been and will continue to be to take law enforcement action wherever appropriate to discourage this activity from occurring in the first place. No arrests have been made in the case. And in Maryland, police are searching for the alleged suspect who opened fire at a sporting event held at a high school Saturday morning, killing one man and injuring a five-year-old child. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.